Welcome to a Delco Nerd Network hot take. If you have not seen a hot take before, well, it's where a few friends get in the basement, give our thoughts, give our opinions on a TV show, movie, or a game. Today, it's going to be a game, and that game is Resident Evil 3. Here to discuss, as always, Chris Trio. And again, second time, round number two for Phil Nicosia. He's back. What's going Thanks on, Phil? Thanks for me back. Yeah, it's Court. been like three seconds. Yeah, it's been a while. Thanks for having me back. <laughs> so, RE3. A it great definitely third campaign to Resident Evil 2. It does not live up to the RE2 remake. Mm-mm, not no. a bad game. Doesn't live up to it. Uh, it's it's more it's more Resident Evil, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It took mm-hmm. me I don't know about you guys uh, personally a little bit to get into it. Like that first kind. No, of I was I was alright jumping in. Half hour stretch. It wasn't really like grabbing me in the same way that I felt like RE2 did. So it took. M- it took me a little bit of time to really just be like, all right, let me put my nose to the grindstone. Let me start getting through some stuff. Uh, but it was, it was fun. Yeah. I mean, when you're doing a remake though, like you, I mean, you have the privilege of kind of like hindsight. Like I, mean, I already knew I liked Resident Evil two better than I liked. So um, it also kind of like they're in a weird situation because they're making remakes and they're doing it um, similar to how call of duty just did modern warfare remastered for one, a couple years ago and two, yeah. And then I guess that kind of means we're gonna get three. Um, no, no Resident way. Evil, uh, no, I think they will. But but I, I don't think three different. has that. Uh, like two, See, Modern that, Warfare one and two are those does. games. Yeah, it definitely doesn't. But I think that they will because the games are uniform. Whereas Resident Evil goes through a lot of transitions and changes every new. So yeah. like the idea of them doing Resident Evil four is weird. Like that's a totally different game. At least in my mind, growing totally different game than- that's where it's it started to get a lot more action oriented right or was that even yeah, third? it just it has like a different it definitely is a different play style and it sure. is a little but it also just resident evil 4 is so iconic and right. resident evil 2 is super iconic and three like Nemesis, is that outlier had like a demo yeah it's, it's right. kind of goofy yeah. i'm it- glad they go ahead Gooch. oh sorry what'd you say you cut out i'm glad they did it um what i what i really like is having uniform remakes so like when all if i can go back and play two three and and they all have the same uniform feel to them True. i will really like yeah i will like feeling yeah. like okay i have a full experience of continuity have you felt like that with this this remake with from two has there been like a or was did it feel a lot different it felt um, a lot different and okay. i didn't play three as much as i played two i had three um, you know, I had three like greatest hits, I think. Like I remember yeah. being definitely sidelined to two. Um, but I did it's not like I noticed changes because I didn't really remember it. I should have replayed it on PS1 beforehand. There but... there are a decent amount of differences. Like I, the uh, only the... change I remembered was the boss where he runs around the second ball. That was definitely way different in the Well, original. so you go into the clock tower part in the original game. That's right, yeah. And you don't do I, I, that here. I just remember getting to it in the remake and being like, wait, I'm, I'm lost. Like, I don't remember this. Was, Re- Resident Evil 3 Nemesis is the only Resident Evil I really have zero context for. And j- I just knew Jill is in it and she kind of looks skimpy. <laughs> and uh, there's a guy named Carlos like and Nemesis. Like, that's yeah, so it. That's the only thing I knew about those games. In the original, I assume. Yes, the original. Jill. Still a star, is part of stars, right? Yes. Or, yeah. okay. It's the same story. Yeah. Yeah, that's my thought. Okay. But so, like, going so from context for people who don't know, so going from two, two to three originally back in ninety seven and ninety eight, um, or maybe it's ninety eight, ninety nine, whatever. So RE two was the puzzle game. It was the better of the two. It was you know it wasn't as action oriented. It was still like the original. And then RE three reused assets from two and came out like a year later and was more action oriented and the same thing is actually happening here which we kind of knew um they add those abilities which i think are utterly useless and i don't really like where carlos can shove (laughs) and jill can fucking combat roll and it's just like we don't need these 
Really? I actually see. I, yeah, I, really I, agree. I fucking it. loved it. Yeah, I did it all. I I didn't like Carlos bump. It's cool. Like I get. <laughs> yeah, I here's get why. <laughs> here you go. Or whatever. Yeah, it's like body check. But I do like her dodge roll. Like I really fucking. Yeah. Do. I maybe it's maybe it's because I'm not good at it. Uh, I don't know. I just was like, eh. I don't know. It's funny, and, like, mechanically, I felt like this game was basically the same game except for those dodge roll mechanics. But like the thing oh right, it is that really kind of. Oh yeah, yeah wait. Why did why did they take the ability to use grenades and stun grenades to get out of zombie holds? Yeah, I don't know. yeah, dumb. It's fucking stupid. Dumb. And that's a like, that's a staple. So frustrating and 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 that mechanic is it works so well in Resi Two in the remake. Because, yeah, because like you're giving up a slot. For t- like to play D or to not right, lose. and yeah, even yeah. in even in the RE one remake for the GameCube, that's uh, yeah. you know yeah. that one. Like I played that yeah. last year. It's yeah. fucking awesome. It still yeah. really holds up, and it feels yeah. a lot like RE two. Yeah. Um, yeah. and they keep it, all it's that a stuff. Really good mechanic that should not. I didn't even think it should not. And maybe in Resi three, it has been so fucking annoying when they grab, like when they mm-hmm. grab me. Uh, more than two for some reason i'm like what the fuck yeah and you get instantly killed like what does pressing the x button even do it doesn't yeah. fucking do anything right i feel like it's just there i assumed if you don't do that yeah, i think you just take more damage yeah or you die um yeah you're, there's just weird there, there are weird things like that where i'm like that's that's an answer that's a weird tweak to me that i i don't really quite understand and i don't know like at the beginning i just I don't know about you guys, but I found the Nemesis just extremely annoying until I Nemesis realized. is is not as good as Mr. X, and that sucks. I don't think so. I and I don't even I, I I like the way they set up Mr. X a little bit better, and just the way you kind of do just have to avoid him. Like with the Nemesis, you can just keep dodging away from him, and he doesn't yeah. hit you. He's and, a lot more scripted than X. Well, so yeah. ironically, I think that Nemesis as a character is sicker. Sure. Yes. But, but doesn't play as well. I agree. Yeah. Right. Like I, I it wasn't as fun to combat him, but I think he's a sicker character. How yeah, I, I, I would totally, totally agree. Like, what do you guys how are you guys feeling about like boss fights and stuff so far with him? Like how like were they I'm trying okay. to think what, what, they were okay. what's the first one? The first one is Flamethrower. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the well, on actually, the roof. Well that's a part that I really thought was cool and like extremely cinematic and again it this game felt stars like you said it earlier a lot more scripted gooch and i think that's a good way to put it like in these kind of more cinematic moments that they try to set you up for i like them but like i wish it was more random too like i don't mind the scriptedness but like there's not enough random encounters to to, like offset that um you guys both didn't beat it true's right at the end and eh, phil is too well, not not as much. Um, but just to hit on the story, what? How are you guys liking the story? This game takes place um, a little bit before RE2 and a little bit after RE2, and RE2 kind of takes place in the middle while everything is going on, which is I think which it's is cool. Awesome. I think yeah. It's awesome. I like the story. I love Jill and Carlos a lot. I like, I like Carlos too. I like going into the gun store and the dudes. Kendo, like, yeah, yeah, that was, cool. that was really sick. Cause like I had forgotten, like as somebody who's that was something that, like, I was like, "Oh fuck, I- I'm I'm yeah. on board." Like, I know what's going on. This is yeah, sick. no, that's cool. Yeah, so I we, like I like it, how there's those. Sorry, Trey, go ahead. This, when does this take place in relation to RE2? I missed. So, that. Jill and Brad are kind of, and Carlos and UBCS are all kind of like. So when Carlos gets to the prison, Leon has not gotten there yet. And neither is Claire. And you see, you see, you see Marvin Brana get bit and, yeah. you know, yeah. and then he comes out yeah. later. So Carlos leaves. They all leave. Leon and Claire must come in after that. And then yeah. Jill and everything with Jill and Carlos kind of wraps up. And then they're out before the nuke hits, like, or as oh. the nuke is, is getting hit, as that facility is getting yeah. blown up. So and they're kind of, they're happening on top of each other and then before and after it's, it's, mm-hmm. it's interesting, but I, I like the way it is. And then it's like, Oh, as Carlos, like you can see Leon's uh, police uniform, like still in the locker. Uh, and then, but also seeing, you know, you, you get a little reference to um, some, like uh, some of the other stars, like Chris gets mentioned, sure. I think once, but like, Oh, yeah. Brad Vickers. And then fucking Brad dies. <laughs> I, I do think it's sick. Like when you go in the police station the first time, in the, like, their little comms office and the like banners hanging up, and he said, yeah. "Oh, 
how you had a good first day. <laughs> like the, the little Easter eggs and like the yeah. little. There's a lot of little good stuff like that. Did you? What's the mag thing for? The mag attachment. Which gun? The lightning hawk. I did not get the lightning hawk. I guess where was that at? It's in the hospital. <laughs> hmm. I must. Have I don't think that. I have it either. But yeah, you, you fail. It's at the part you're at. But ju- I mean, just to touch up on weapons, I think the uh, the M4 is so underpowered. I was so disappointed. The M- like so the well, machine gun. The machine gun. Yeah, the assault rifle. One that Carlos used. Yeah. 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 I, so, I fun fact, if you play on assisted, cl- if you play on assisted, Jill gets it too. Yeah, I oh, saw that. Okay. Which is weird, because it's like, I have too many guns now. Why do yeah. I start with a pistol and an uh, and the assault rifle? Like, I barely I barely used it just to keep with, like, in the immersion. <laughs> yeah, play, why, why'd you play on assisted? Uh, because I have to play on every difficulty every anyway. So, yeah, assisted. No, doesn't it, doesn't it? Like most games, if you play on the hardest, it covers the trophy. Right, but let me... I gotta play it... So, there's an addition to Hardcore. There is Nightmare and yeah. something like else. Resident Evil games that you unlock mm-hmm. after your playthrough. Yeah. Oh, and you have to play on Assisted to get... You don't get the rewards for... No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. So, like, what I did this with RE2. So, I played on Assisted the first time just to get the feel for what I'm doing, know where the things are. That's... You know, default playthrough, not doing anything special. So I'm on my third playthrough. Uh, Then my second playthrough was standard. No health items, no item box. And I did that. And then the next one is hardcore. And then there's going to be another one on Nightmare. And there's another difficulty after that called Inferno, which will be my S rank speed run. And then that difficulty. So I'll have to play like four or five times, which is fine because it's a six hour game, which doesn't bother me necessarily. Um, we, I, think I mean, you guys aren't done, but or is that like four and a half hours right now on mine? Yeah, I was like six, maybe like yeah. you know. I will say by the like the last night and this morning, I was kind of trucking through to to get ready for this a little. Uh, mm-hmm. but yeah, I think one thing I got I always say about these games is how fucking good they look. Like just the character model yeah. and everything, like particles and just. The way things reflect off surfaces and things like. Well, I'm assuming this it's built in the Resident Evil Seven engine. That's what I thought. Because I know Resi Two was. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one of the big like you know maybe this is so dumb hearing it. One of the things I really wanted when they did two remake was a mode. So like you were just mentioning when you play on certain lock a new mode to play the game, and like after you beat Resident Evil Two, they give you the hang the game. Yeah. The, so the unlimited hangar, one thing yeah. I wanted them to do was since they built it, they had to rebuild it in this new engine from Resident Evil. I wanted a first person mode so bad. Yeah, I, and they tease and, you at that with the beginning, which I kind of like. I like how yes, they're kind of like yes, Jill is yes. like and sort of paranoid. Before I knew, yes, and before I knew the dodge mechanic, I saw the first person in Resi 3 and I was like, dude, they could totally do it with this too. But I guess with the dodge, like it yeah, and it's funny because I do I find that uh when they when when a game wants to go more actiony while it's still horror they go third person mm-hmm. and then you, and then when it wants to be more horror oriented which I feel like Resident Evil Seven was that first person view really kind of puts you in the character's shoes rather than like makes you feel like you're there with the character if that makes any yeah. sense. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I definitely think RE Eight will be first person. Like I, I don't think so. they're gonna go back to third person. I hope so. Yeah, and, and I I have I have been pretty uh, I have been pretty consistent on saying I think Resident Evil's best it's the best release of this console seven and, oh. seven and yeah. um and you know it's kind of like I've been consistent saying it but obviously I think without PT like I don't even know like it, it kind of feels like a cheap shot because like <laughs> I don't know I'm not saying they ripped it but no nah, I wouldn't say it that really paved the way for people first person horror. yeah kind of you're kind of you're horror. you're a hundred percent correct it was fucking good like it didn't make me feel like pt i fucking forgot about pt and pt was great but i was like fuck resident evil 7 it's all the elements of resident evil that i always liked and that i continue to and it's fucking it's sick it's fucking horrifying it's yeah. the, the boss is good. Really play that actually yeah. Yeah. oh it's <laughs> fucking awesome it's that's wild. a great game so I Phil, been... I I know Trio knows this, but I'm I, I've been playing the entire Resident Evil series. Mm-hmm. So 
It started last year, actually, probably around this time. I played RE1 Remake on PS4, plat it. Then I, I t- took a little time off because I wanted to play. So I, I've also been playing, like, a horror game on each console a- around October. So RE2 was my horror game for PlayStation. So I played that. A g- great thing that RE3 was announced because there's literally no other way to play that. Like, y- there's no port of it. So now I'm on RE3. And now I'm going to go back to Zero, and then I'll play the Revelations games um, and then get over to four and then five and then six and then eventually get to seven. But it's like, it's really a series that um, I really don't have a lot of experience in. Obviously, I know a lot about it. And, um, yeah. Well, like I don't either. I mean, I played it before. Yeah. But um, there's some light in my room. No, it's all right. Um, yeah. So I'm just like, if I can play all of them, sure. Like, unlike Metal Gear, which is like not all the Metal Gear games are fucking on current gen consoles well and that's what happened well and so two things here that's initially what i was referencing about you know uniform continuity so like the idea of being able to play all All of i kind of wish they did i mean i know because of the viewing of resident evil one it would be difficult to really do a remake but why i mean Resident Evil 2, they remade that and it feels fucking phenomenal. The only thing, the only reason I feel like they didn't remake it is because they already did. <laughs> oh, they, yeah, they did. Yeah. Well, rem- isn't that a remaster, technically? Yeah. It's so what, the GameCube version, though, it, it does have a no. It's game- a re. Yeah, yeah it's a game- redub. Version. There's more to it. They put cut yep. content in. Yeah, it is a. It's a little bit more than just a, a port. Yeah. Gotcha. And that's kind of why it's critically acclaimed, and that's the one that that they ported the GameCube version and upscaled it to, to PS4. PS4. Right. So, gotcha. Huh. Yep. But no, that's, I mean, that's a really good point. Like with Metal Gear, I mean, that's obviously how I fucking felt about Kingdom Hearts because I played like one of them on DS. Like, I'm not going to go play the 3DS one. I'm not going to, you know, like yeah. I, me, I had always said they should have, and I know it's difficult to say this, but like Kingdom Hearts 3 should have just been a direct like a direct sequel to kingdom hearts 2 and yeah let me let me talk let me talk about why that can't happen (laughs) i I need someone like for a lot of people kingdom hearts 3 was really popular because it really did capitalize on this niche community of guys who stuck with it and And really really into the world um but he definitely fucking lost me um so did you like carlos or jill better jill Jill. yeah Carlos is pretty one-off. He does. I don't think he appears in any other Resident Evil game. Jill is obviously a, a staple. Um, she, she becomes like a staple after this game. I don't really know. Yeah, much. she. Yeah, Jill Valentine is yeah a big RE character. So she's, so she's in one because, as well. Because in Resident Evil, in Nemesis, you you can only play as you know Jill, then Carlos segment, then Jill, then Carlos. Mm-hmm. I don't. Couldn't it have been cool had they done you two campaigns? Yeah, like you can just like Resi Two, you can play as Carlos. Yeah. The times he's off camera, like yeah. that could have been a cool implementation as opposed yeah. to fucking dumbass. I think so too. I think it just kind of came down to it. They wanted to probably get it out a little quicker, sooner rather than later. They I heard these were being developed at the same time too, and I think oh, they really? didn't have three ready for two's release, so they separated them. Yeah. 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 No, that's it is an interesting thing of like. Like I said when we started this, this did feel like a third Resident Evil 2 campaign to me, for better or for worse. And I, I would have been curious to see if they did just kind of put this out as a DLC rather than uh, its whole own other game at, at a $60 price tag, getting to even right. resistance in there. And I guess, do you guys want to get into resistance at all now? I was just yeah. going to say, I, yeah, I, think, to. I think resistance kind of, in a way, justifies its $60 price point, in a way. Um but yeah, we were talking about a little bit on our Doom uh, Eternal hot take. I I I enjoy Resistance. I like what it is. I like how it's a little bit different. It's this you know one v four uh, yeah one v four game mode and like one person's the master and you're trying to stop the survivors from escaping and it's yeah. it's cool. It's, it's a little only, janky, but I like yeah. it. It's the only asymmetrical multiplayer game that I've actually enjoyed. I will say that. Like usually when I get like those one v five games. I'm like, this is dumb, and you always just want to play as the one rather than the five, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. And I, I do think that they did a cool and interesting job of, of making this, but at the same time, I do think that it's kind of a little weaselly to just make it part of this game and make it... And it's a, it's, it's a totally separate game, too. It's got That's its own insane. trophy list, which like, is I, yeah. weird. I think they yeah. should have made it... It's $30 for Resi 2, or Resident Evil 3, and then $30 for 
for um, uh, resistance. Uh, yeah. But no one would have bought resistance. Yeah, dude, I, I don't mind I mean, that they put it in. Go ahead. Dude, I mean, there's something to be said about the fact that Resident Evil Three is so short. I mean, you know, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> just, exactly. it's just a short ass game. And you know, I launched Resistance. I downloaded. I, I launched it, and I, what <laughs> I was anticipating was just like a straight up, like, okay, we have the engine, and maybe we have these guys who are in the studio but they're you know they're not working on the main remake so let's make a little side thing so i really thought that it was just going to be like fucking call of duty zombie like four player survival i kind of had this idea that it was going to be something really big and i was immediately like impressed by the fact okay like there's a fucking tutorial like there's yeah. different play styles and like so i was like okay this is sick and then when i was getting through the tutorial i was like all right all right i want to play resident evil 3 i don't i'm out I don't need this bullshit. Sure. So, but that's just me. <laughs> like, there are definitely people. Like, clearly, you guys play it, so there's yeah. definitely people who are like, like having my first reaction where they're impressed, and then people following. But to make the game sixty dollars, I think is is. I, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't say anyways, impressed. I would have paid sixty dollars for fucking Resident Evil Three remake because I'm an idiot. So it really doesn't right. matter. Yeah, I, guess I was going to play the game on launch anyways, so yeah. I'm not mad about it. You know. I, I wouldn't say I'm impressed with it. I just think I'm I didn't impressed with the notion that they actually took the time out to create uh, a game other than I just like I'm impressed with it in the way of it, it was something I had zero expectations for and it came in and and made me actually enjoy it in a way that I wasn't expecting. Yeah. But, well, I mean, I'll clarify the term impressed. I'm impressed <laughs> that they did something other yeah. than the very basic, like, all right, everybody starts with a handgun. Well, what was the last thing that they tried to do? Resident Evil Raccoon City or something that was like a multi thing? Uh, no, not op Umbrella Corps. Yeah, Umbrella Corps. And that just totally shit the bed. Bombed. Yeah, yeah like, awful. Yeah. So I guess it is, it's cool of them to have actually committed and followed through with this and made something that's interesting and fun and even fun to play. Yeah, yeah. and... I, I it kind of just, to me, had the appeal of, uh, you know, and... and it just had this appeal of um, Metal Gear Survive, where right. like, <laughs> I like Resident Evil. Don't just make me. Don't try to make me fucking like something just because you stamp Resident Evil on. Yeah, that's yeah. That's how Metal Gear was for me. It was like, dude, this isn't fucking Metal. Gear. Did you get Survive? No, I didn't fucking get it. Oh, I watched people good. play, and I was like, I'm not fucking good. Kidding. I was like, are you fucking yeah. nuts? <laughs> people did. Like people. Did I know. I know. You know. Yeah. I mean, I'm not even a Metal Gear person. You know. And that was the last I, you I heard of that. Wouldn't fucking play that. So, right. yeah, if you like RE2, I feel like you're going to like RE3. Uh, yeah. But you're going to like it less than RE2. Right. Yes. It's just it's just not as good, period. <laughs> and and I, mean, I don't know. It's still a good game. It's not like it's a bad thing. But, like, RE3 is not going to be up for game of the year. It's not going to It's not gonna get the acclaim that RE2 Remake did. And that's fine. Whatever. It's kind of in line with the way they originally did it. I'm yeah. not that so butthurt about it. I, I, yeah. I was... Yeah. yeah. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to go through a few times again, like you're doing Gooch. And yeah, I think it can, they do commit to the silliness and weirdness in some ways that I really enjoy. And there's like, even there, there are some legitimately unnerving moments in this game, like with the spider creatures and like, oh, just the way oh you yeah. die sometimes. And like, it's good, but I did feel that, that more horror esque feeling with resident evil 2 rather than right it, it, it really is more action oriented less puzzles yeah. more about yeah. gunning people down and i think that it's clear as day with the addition of the assault rifle i don't even remember if there was one in I the original know. re3 I like I, I don't know what carlos's arsenal was yeah when i was that young and i would play resident evil keep playing the same like mission sorry you broke up the, yeah the, you cut out did i cut out there yeah when Resident Evil 3 came out, what year was that? I, it was either 99 or 98. Yeah, so it's, it's another example of a game where, like, having an older sibling, we would have it and, like, not really play it. Like, I would play it without a memory. Play, like, the first, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> play it again. Yeah. So, uh, that came out in 99. 99. Yeah. yeah. Um... That's what I was going to say. It's a, it's a good $40 game if you're going to bite into it it's a great 
Like, like when this goes down to twenty bucks on PS Plus. It's worth it. <laughs> right. I, I, I think the sixty dollar price tag right now is a little steep. I mean there's not a lot coming out after this. You know, RE seven is that last game with due to the coronavirus. Like right. we don't really know what's going on. Last of Us Two is it delayed indefinitely. Like Ghost of Tsushima is probably gonna be on the chopping block soon if we're not oh, out that of would it. Suck. Yeah, that would suck. Yeah. I mean it's all got Cyberpunk coming in September, but I know that's a while away. I'm trying to think of even anything in the near couple months but no it well, was no, it, I, it was I, really I be surprised if cyberpunk gets the axe for the time being i don't know i feel like they said it's not as of now it, yeah they said it's not, and i don't know i, I but that can like change I... has it went <laughs> gold though like is it no. done no, 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 no. well then, I, then it's gonna it get usually, fucking usually go gold until like the month before a game release i'm pretty See, I, I think i think it's gonna go i think it's gonna get axed yeah I, 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 it, it's hard working i don't know but we'll see. I mean, hey, it easily could. I hope not. But yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Anything else on Resident Evil Three? That's it for me. No, not really. I got to go finish it. Awesome. Well, guys, <laughs> you on live on twitch.tv slash so stuff in our network. We very much appreciate it. Uh, you can find us on YouTube as well as most podcast services. Just search Duck Under Network. Uh, you can also find us on all the socials, just at Duck Under Nerds. And while you're looking us up, you can leave a review on this podcast. That would be fantastic. But all this information can be found on our website, DelcoNerdNetwork.com. For Phil, for Gooch, I've been Trio. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay nerdy. We will see you next time.